Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross watcher here, so the roles could be reversed. Please do not try to fit anything into your life that does not naturally fit there. Yes? Uh, we, this is a timeless reading, even though it's coming through for the month of August of 2021, this literally can resonate for you at any moment in your life. Yeah. Please keep that in mind. Um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. If you would like to get some extra content throughout the month, check us out on Patreon, or if you'd just like to support the channel, um, in that way, that it's very helpful. I would be greatly appreciative of it, but check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, excellent. Let's get into your pre-shuffle energy, Leo. Uh, oh, sorry, not Leo, Sagittarius. I just did Leo's reading, but maybe watch Leo's reading. Okay, great. Saggy, um, <clears throat> so. What I feel like is happening here, first of all, what I heard when I looked at all of this, I heard something isn't right. Something's not right here. And I feel like you are coming to that realization, Sagittarius. There is a future forward focus for you. You have the three of wands here. At the bottom of the deck, overall energy, you have the ace of wands, okay? Underneath the ace of wands is the page of wands. All right. Uh, there is a future forward focus for you right now. I am also hearing some of you are maybe even trying to plan something. And I feel like, okay, well, well, what you're trying to plan is how to move forward. I just, there's momentum here or there's somewhere you're trying to get to. There's something you are in the process of pre pre preparing. There it is. There's something that you are in the process of preparing for. You're trying to get your shit together. You're trying to get your ducks in a row, like something like that. And there is some sort of illusionary rea reality here that you're kind of like, what is happening? But it's crossing this, this three of wands energy. It's the 10 of swords and the moon. Either the 10 of swords and the moon, which both came out sideways, are talking about you coming to the realization of something that is not as it seemed before, is not as it seemed to be, that is actually really toxic, really destructive, or in essence is just holding you back. And that is about to come to an end. Or you are recognizing that something needs to come to an end and you're tr because you're seeing through the illusionary aspect of it and you're preparing to bring it to an end. There is either inspiration and a desire to move forward in a new direction or a desire to send a message that will end a situation or you have a certain vision in mind and before you can really move forward towards that you need to take a step back four of swords and end something queen of swords ten of wands in order for yourself to be able to move forward. Something that you are starting to come to an understanding is not what it seems. And you're getting this from your intuition. The high priestess and the moon both represent intuitive energies. So even if, Sagittarius, even if you may not be able to nail down any sort of physical evidence, physical proof as to what is wrong with this situation here, it doesn't matter. Because ultimately, you, number one, don't have to prove anything to anybody if you decide to move in a different direction. Nor do you need to explain anything to anybody. Anybody, You don't need to explain yourself to a certain extent, depending on the given situation, okay? Like if you're in some sort of contractual agreement, okay, you probably need to explain yourself somehow. Like, you know what I mean? But otherwise, you don't really need to explain yourself. You don't really need to justify anything. Especially since it's coming from your higher self. It's coming from your intuitive ability. If you know, if you can just feel, if you just know something is off here, you are most likely right, Sagittarius. And you don't have to prove anything to anybody. Because most likely, with this moon energy, Sag, most likely, whatever situation or people or individuals involved with this are thriving off of or banking on the fact that there is an illusion here and you can't nail it down because then that way they can continue to get away with it or they don't have to take responsibility or own up for their actions. <laughs> yep. 
Yo. Yo. Ooh, we are on fire today. We're gonna move forward, Sag. And I'm gonna shuffle this up a little bit just to clear the energies, clear the deck, and then we will shuffle five times and we will get into the rest of your reading, yes? Excellent. Let's get in on this. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2021. This is one. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, Sagittarius. This is two. And if you would like a look at maybe a specific love message for you, check your Venus sign. Yeah? This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, let's cut the deck, Sag. Boop. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. We'll get into the overall energy in just a moment. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, Sag. Okay, overall energy for you. Ooh, we have judgment. All right. So you're rising above. What I'm hearing, Sagittarius, is you are handling handling this in the proper way. I'm getting a feeling from judgment here as to the fact that you are um, you're being called. Okay, what I'm hearing is you're being called to a deeper understanding. You're being called to a deeper meaning in your life. And you're being called to rise above certain circumstances. This judgment energy is exactly why you're getting some sort of intuitive hits that something doesn't necessarily seem right here. Something is not right about some, a certain situation that you are involved in or in terms of what may be holding you back. Something is not right here. Okay, this is a call from the universe. This is a call from your higher self. Okay, so you're, you're handling it correctly. Underneath judgment, you have the hanged man. Underneath the hanged man, you have the Knight of Swords. And then underneath the Knight of Swords, you do have the Queen of Wands. Okay. All right. Um, so you're being called to release yourself from some sort of burden, to fight back, to cut yourself free from something that has been holding you back. And this is all in service of something that is a greater form of alignment for you. Queen of Wands. Either this is a direct result of an alignment that you find yourself in that you definitely want to maintain, okay? Or this is in service of getting, ultimately getting into an alignment that will better serve you, okay? Underneath the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords, okay? So either, like I said, either this alignment is in service, uh, either that you're already in this alignment and it's serving to move you forward out of a painful or tough situation, or you are moving forward towards an alignment that's going to get you there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a really te funny text message from a friend. All right. We're going to get into the first half for the rest of your reading here, Sagittarius. First half and second half of your reading. The first half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment and off into the future. Yes? And I sip. <laughs> first set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius. Sorry, Saggy. I just did Leo's energy. It was all hot and heavy. But you might want to watch Leo's energy. All right, fine. Sagittarius, first set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. You do, There's that three of wands again. All right, so this has been on your mind for a hot second, Sag. Like, what I just heard is you've been considering this over and over and over again for the longest amount of time. And now, yikes, okay. And now in some certain in some circumstances with this judgment energy, spirit is literally asking you, like, what they're, this is, Direct channel phrase, channeled message from spirit. Either shit or get off the pot. You're going to have to do something about this eventually, Sagittarius. What you going to do? Let's make a decision already, right? But, it's, but, but, but see, it's more than just, you know, the divine putting pressure on you to make a decision. This, it, it's ready to go now. It's now or ever, never. It's go time. It's go time, Sag. 
No longer, no, no more, no more going back and forth saying, eh, I don't know, I don't know. Nope. Make a decision. It's time to go. It's time to move forward. Three of Wands. It's time to move forward. Three of Wands is coupled with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this really is in terms of what it is you've been building. What it is you have been building. I am feeling that specifically, even if you don't quite recognize it yet, Sag. This has everything to do with what it is you have been energetically piecing together. There are discrepancies that are standing in the way. There is some sort of judgment call here. There is a, oh, and it's so, okay. All right, no, this is making so much sense because when I was first channeling your energy, Sagittarius, I was seeing purple. I, and many of you know, I often see colors when I'm channeling for people or for the collective or whatnot, whatever. I was seeing purple for you specifically, Sagittarius, and that is a divine higher wisdom coming through for you. So there is a level of a higher perspective that is showering, has been showering down on to you right now, Sagittarius, that is expanding your perception and is allowing you to see where you are being held back, the hanged man. And it's saying to you very specifically, you are building something, Sagittarius, but how are you going to continue to build in the future when you've got these energies holding you back on the surface? Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, in the first half of your reading, you have the Five of Cups. So, so what's catching you up right now, Sagittarius, is this level of dealing with the loss. Dealing with the loss of what it is you're having to release or let go of. In service of wherever it is you're trying to go to begin with, right? You literally have to clear away some energies for you to be allowed to fully manifest what it is you're being called towards. Five of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, mm, this is kind of a fed up energy, this seven of pentacles. And, it, and it's, either, it's translating one of two ways. For some of you, you are fed up and you're like, look, I'm done crying over this or I'm done dealing with this. Or, or you're still kind of ruminating in this energy of I don't really want to let this go. I feel like some of you have gotten to the point where you're recognizing that you can't keep doing this over and over again because nothing's ever going to change. It, uh, unfortunately, you have to change the game. You have to change the way you approach the situation. So that's some of you firmly standing in that seven of pentacles energy, even though there is some sort of drama or some sort of remorse or mourning for something that needs to be let go of. Okay. Others of you are stuck in this hot mess of the five of cups. Staring the element of knowing you need to change something, change your approach, change the way you handle something, but desperately trying to hold on to it because of some sort of emotional attachment. You've got to let this go, Sag. You're not going to be able to change the situation unless you change the way you approach it. And no one is asking you to deny what it is you're feeling here. Yes, Go through your mourning period. You are deserving of that, or at least the situation deserves for you to grieve. Allow yourself to grieve. No one's telling you not to grieve. But ultimately, the message here, Sagittarius, is that things are not going to change unless you change the way you approach it, period. The way you approach it or the way you handle it. Your challenge, Sagittarius, in the first half of your reading is the Ten of Cups. This is definitely having to do with community society I'm hearing but also this has to do with the way with with what would be your ultimate emo emotional fulfillment or what I'm hearing is what would be leading to your ultimate emotional fulfillment and so, for some of you that is in direct opposition to what the community or the environment wants it's not your responsibility to make sure everyone else is feeling fulfilled everyone else is happy that is not your responsibility, Sagittarius. And that is actively keeping you away from what would actually make you emotionally fulfilled. Literally, what the Ten of Cups is representing in your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Sagittarius, is the friction between what some sort of community or group of people want versus what it is you actually want. 
The Ten of Cups is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. New emotion, new reality. You're being faced with change, Sagittarius. Stepping into a new emotional reality is also what I just heard. That's your challenge in the first half of your reading. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading is the Three of Swords. Facing the heartbreak. Some of you need to actually face the fact that something you are involved in right now is extremely damaging, is heartbreaking, is destructive, is not fulfilling you, is actually breaking your heart. Whatever, however you want to describe it. I feel like the best way to describe it, though, is you are having to face the fact that whatever it is you're being called to separate from, to resonate out of, to, to, to rise above, it's actually breaking your heart. Some of you don't want to admit that. Because specifically what I'm getting with that is because of who is involved. I'm getting a mother for someone, for some of you. Whether this person is still here or not. Whether this person is still alive or has passed on. There is some sort of expectation from some sort of elder female figure that I'm seeing in my head for some of you that you are keeping alive, or at least this circumstance is keeping it alive. And for some reason, you are expected to continue along with it, but it is breaking your heart, Sagittarius, and that is not fair to you. I don't care who this person was. I don't care what they wanted. What they want is not more important than your happiness and your well-being. Never was, never will be, Sag. You've got to face that. And you've got to deal with it accordingly. The Three of Swords is coupled with... Whoops, just one of them, okay. The Five of Swords. Come on, the Five of Swords, Sag. Because... The more you stay with this, the more you are sabotaging yourself. Pick your battles wisely, Sagittarius, and walk away from what no longer serves you. Don't even try to fight back. Don't even try to justify it. Don't even try to explain yourself. It's not worth it because it straight up ain't gonna work. But you know that, Sagittarius, Seven of Pentacles. You know that already. You've been in this time and time and time and time again, and you've tried to do it the same old way and it never changed. It is time to take a radically different approach. Judgment. That is the only way you are going to be able to change this circumstance for yourself. Is, take, is by taking a radically different approach. Let's get into the second half of your reading. And here we're going to be looking at the current surrounding energies off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Sag, in the second half of your reading, you have the Nine of Swords. But what if? But what if? What if? What if? What if nothing, Sagittarius? This this energy, this what if energy is an illusion and ultimately will become a self-fulfilling prophecy because the more energy you give it, the more energy it takes on and the more of a life of its own it takes on. What if nothing? It's time to quell the fears and start doing what it is you love to do or what it is you would love to do. Nine of Swords is coupled with, just a moment, please. Excuse me, the 10 of Wands. What if nothing, Sagittarius? It is what it is. It is a burdensome situation. You have got to release yourself from it. What if nothing? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading. The Six of Cups. Nostalgia. 
memories. I get it. That's what's holding you back. <clears throat> That's a lot of what's holding you back. And what I want to say about that, Saj, especially since you have a progression here in the second half, in the, in the second set of surrounding energies, in both from the first half of your reading to the second half of your reading. In the first half of your reading, you had the Five of Cups as your first set of surrounding energies. I'm sorry, as your second set, first card in the second set of surrounding energies, right? And now in the second half of your reading, the first card in the second set of your surrounding energies is the Six of Cups. So there is something that has emotional value or emotional weight to you that you are absolutely needing to let go of. But that does not mean, Sag, that you have to let go of the fond memories. Please, by all means, hold on to those. But do not allow your nostalgia to keep you in a place that ultimately breaks your heart time and time again. Please. That is Five of Swords energy. Look back on these memories with fondness, please. But don't keep yourself stuck in a position that's only going to hurt you. The Six of Cups is coupled with justice. No matter how fond certain memories are for you, Sagittarius, that does not change the fact that something here is not what it seems. Something here is breaking your heart. Something here is destructive. There is justice that is meant to be served here. No amount, no amount of cute, nostalgic, good feeling, nostalgic energy is ever going to change the fact that something needs to be balanced out. And the balancing act, whatever needs to happen to balance this out, is justified. Your challenge, Sagittarius, in the second half of your reading is the tower. And what I'm hearing for you, Sagittarius, is the universe is 100% absolutely facilitating this tower moment for you because you won't do it yourself. And that is not meant to be condescending. You are not being punished. And I personally, Eric Brathwaite, I am not judging you for that. But what I am saying is the message is very clear. If you're not going to clear this out for yourself, your higher self will. Because it's necessary. The tower is coupled with the Eight of Swords, Sag. Again, you are not being judged. You are not being reprimanded. You are not being punished. Your higher self, the universe, loves you unconditionally. But quite frankly, Sag, you are do not deserve to be in this confinement. And thus, your higher self will be facilitating a tower moment for you in service of your greater good. It might not seem like it right now, but this tower moment that could be happening for you, that will be happening for you, whether you do it yourself or not, is in service of breaking you free. No if, ands, or buts about it, babe. Okay? We love you. We want you to be free. We want you to be happy. This does not serve you any longer, my dear child. Therefore, you need to be broken free. And we're going to do it for you if you don't want to do it yourself. Because you are meant... This is, and, 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 and some of you are asking, but why? But why? Because this is what's meant to be happening. This is in service of yourself and your highest good. The greater good, even. If you want to, if you want to be completely selfless, not selfish, selfless, then okay. For this one hot second, let's take you out of the situation and see the perspective there. Because this actually ultimately serves more than just you, your happiness, and your hap and your whatever, your happiness. This actually serves everyone else that it affects. Again, you may not see it right now. It may look like one of the worst, a catastrophic event possible, but Damn it, it serves everyone that it affects. 
it serves their highest good. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Sag, in the second half of your reading. Whoops, just one at a time. The Emperor. This is definitely, um, the first thing I felt from the Emperor is, Sagittarius, is this is the, the, the universe coming through saying, no more, my child, I am protecting you. I am putting these boundaries in place for you. And you might hate me right now. You could totally look at this as one of those situations where like when you were a teenager and like your father came through if, uh, or a father figure or like some authoritarian figure came through and, and enacted some sort of, uh, some sort of restriction on you and you were all like, ah, I hate you. And you ran up to your room and slammed the door. <laughs> I hate you so much. Why won't you let me live my life? But then you grow up and 20 years later, you look at that and you're like, whoa, thanks dad. Thanks mom. Thanks whoever the authority was because really that was the right thing. So with the emperor, the universe is coming through and saying, you might hate me right now, but you will understand why I put this restriction around you later on. The emperor is coupled with, whoa, the sun. So for those of you that are not tarot savvy, the sun represent is the most optimistic card in the deck i really feel like i don't need to explain this to you guys but all, but the sun also represents illumination so this is exactly what i was just saying later on first of all this this restriction that you're feeling or this emperor energy of you needing to be in the executive position you laying down the law you saying what goes and what does not go in your life any longer is the best thing for you right now it will bring you victory. But also the sun represents the illumination of it all. So you're going to figure it out eventually. You will understand. Remember, Sag, that the moon came out in your pre-shuffle. Something doesn't feel right. Well, once you start to erect some sort of real strong, healthy boundaries, you will most likely see why. Yes? Cool. Let's close this reading out, and I am going to use the Crystal Mandala de deck for you as well, because I used it for Leo. But it's feeling, it's res it's vibing. It's, that's what I'm hearing the call towards, so that's what we're going to do. Five shuffles for you, Satch. Yes? Here we go. One. Two. For my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from August of 2021. This is three. Please, Spirit, closing messages for my Sagis. For my Sagis. Yep. Sagittarical. This is four. And this is five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Sagittarians. Please, Spirit. You know what's so crazy? You really might want to watch Leo's reading because it might resonate for you, uh, regardless as to whether you have a Leo placement or not. I don't know. I feel like it might resonate. So just go ahead and watch it. But we use the same closing Oracle Guidance deck, right? Crystal Mandala for Leo. Leo got card number 13. You, Sag, got the next step. 14. <laughs> Angel uh, La Habio and Black Tourmaline. Yo, straight up purification like first of all this is one of my favorite cards just because of the color scheme like black and purple are one of my absolute favorites but also one of my absolute favorite stones is black tourmaline do i have it here no it's over there it's fine um black tourmaline is one of my favorite stones black tourmaline and black onyx but check it out and this makes so much sense for you right now sag black onyx and black tourmaline are very similar they're extremely protective stones. However, black onyx is very, very much more gentle than black tourmaline. Black tourmaline doesn't fuck around, okay? <laughs> it's very rigid, it's very strong, it's very powerful. It doesn't fuck around. 
The universe ain't playing right now with any of us, least of all you, Sag. I don't know why you can figure it out. Have that conversation with yourself, with, with the universe, okay? But the universe is not fucking around purification, black tourmaline. Do your research, check it out. And if you're energetically aware, like if you're, if you're, if you're able, if like you're energetically sensitive enough, like if you develop that enough, uh, no shade if you're not, but if you are, I want to challenge you with something and we're going to read this in a second, but I want to tell you guys a little bit of a story. Um, a few years ago, the November, right before I started my channel, uh, Divine Conversations, I was living in Brooklyn, New York, and I was on break for from work one day. Uh, I was working at a Thai restaurant, Thai Me, um, in, in Williamsburg, <clears throat> right across the street from, it was at a hotel, but it was right across the street from um, a park. I don't remember, uh, right across the street from McCarran Park in, in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Okay, we were all on break. And for those of you that know Williamsburg, on Bedford Avenue, which is a main thoroughfare through Williamsburg, there tend to be, especially during the summer and the fall or whenever the weather permits, there tend to be a lot of street vendors, right? And there was this one guy that had, um, that has, he goes by the name of New Atlantis on Instagram, but he sells stones and he makes a lot of uh, um, uh, towers that have energetic vibrations and resonance. Like he's very, like he's, he's one of those guys, right? Super awesome guy. Total, totally cool. Like <laughs> pasty ass white guy with blonde hair and like these big dreads. Like he is such a cool guy, right? Well, at that time, I needed to get a new stone because I was, I had been currently wearing an onyx, black onyx stone that was a gift from my ex that I didn't want to wear anymore. I didn't want that association any longer. We had just broken up. We were about to go to, through a divorce. I wanted to get a new stone. He was the perfect candidate because I stopped at his table and I was like, whoa, whoa, you've got the stones. You've got black onyx. You've got black tourmaline. Hmm, which do I want? And I took both of them. I put black onyx in one hand and black tourmaline in the other. And let me tell you something. The energy of black tourmaline was so incredibly palpable. Like I was like, whoa, this is great, but this is a little too harsh for me right now. And so I went with black onyx. So I want you guys to do the same thing if you get the opportunity to, okay? Take one of each, black onyx and black tourmaline. And just feel through, like experience what you feel. And you'll see why, okay? Excellent. Let's read this now. <clears throat> and this card does not come out often. I want you guys to recognize how significant this card is right now. Especially in relation to everything we've been talking about in this reading, right? We bring you the gift of purification. This is your chance to let go of what no longer you wish to hold, what you no longer wish to hold. It might be a toxic burden within your body, mind, or emotions you wish to be freed from so you can feel lighter, happier, and more energized to attend to the things that matter most. We come to you at a time when you have become overloaded with energies, thoughts, or even perhaps physical toxins or possessions inhibiting your capacity for joy and vibrancy. If there is any fear within at the prospect of releasing something from your life, be reassured. This cleansing is a loving grace that will help you feel happier. Your higher self, the divine, the universe loves you unconditionally and has allowed you to stay in circumstances that have hurt you, that have harmed you, but it's time to release those now. It might seem like a punishment at this point, but let me tell you something. You will be so much happier if you just go with the flow. We are not here to take anything from you, but rather to free you from what you no longer wish to hold on to. The more you are willing to allow us to assist in this process, the better and clearer you shall feel. Insights into your relationships, choices in life, and issues that may have confused you will become very clear. The moon with the Ten of Swords. Something 
is not right. You will become more aware of your truths and feel empowered to live your life on your own terms. There is only benefit to gain here, and our blessing comes straight from the loving heart of the divine to assist you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>